Seated in this conference hall are some of Nigeria's diplomats, some of whom are retired members of the Nigeria Bar Association, MBA, and the media. The host, the Director General of NIIA, Professor Egosa Osage, speaks on the need to extend invitation to the candidates. He says it's a duty to help put Nigeria on the right path at this time. It is an obligation. Um, the NIIA has a mandate um, to engage Nigerians um, with the international community. And in this year, we have the presidential election and other elections in the country. Um, the world wants to see and know what our presidential candidates think of our engagement with the diplomatic community, with international affairs and foreign policy. Um, and that's why we are doing this. Um, the NIA has extended its um, invitation to all presidential candidates and hopefully the others will follow suit after now. It's an interactive session with the flag bearer of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, Adiwali Adebayo. The focus is on his foreign policy plans. Charity begins at home and this institution was set up in 1961 exactly for this, that our foreign policy thinking should be scientific, should be methodical, should be well-reasoned, well-researched, and this institution has the legacy and the background. Before you go out to say anything about Nigeria or about your country, you go to the premier diplomatic institute in your country and exchange ideas, and the people outside will understand that what you are saying is in tune with the diplomatic policy and doctrines of your country. Prince Adebayo fears the damning crisis that may emanate from not investing in the youthful populace of the country. He insists that Nigeria's youth are the biggest asset of the country. I don't know of any youthful population that will face this amount of challenges, deprivation, uncertainty, that will still behave well. So I think Nigerian youth have shown more talent. So what we should do is to make sure that we encourage them to have a sense of security in the country, a sense that the country is looking after them. We will put legal framework in place to give authority to people with disability to demand their rights, and the law will back them in that regard. Basically, my chances are with Nigerian people. Nigerian people will decide who the president is. And what we are doing now is to demonstrate to them that we are the best choice they can have in terms of domestic policy. They've already understood that. So we're also trying to assure them in terms of uh, foreign uh, policy. The presidential election is just weeks away as candidates jostle for the top seat in the country through campaigns and showing off their manifestos. However, where the pendulum swings will be determined by the votes. Poor George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.